so to amend this silver the first thing we're going to do is this is an interfacing with a slight bit of a difference uh, it's on a, like a felt type of um, fabric I've taken it off a roll this isn't a pre-cut uh, interfacing anyway it's used on a delicate type of stuff and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, line the poncha with this now I've taken the fabric from the salwar original one off and I've pressed it open and we're going to be using the existing piece as we don't have any excess fabric to be using so we have to pull the poncha away so first of all we're locking the interfacing onto the spare, spare tanning point of the silver and this is something that you would similarly do to perhaps a silver that you're making in a lady silver now in comparison to a lady silver uh, this is a very very straightforward silver and uh, it doesn't require a belt it doesn't require no placing of the tonta um, and it's fairly simple. Considering how easy it is to make, we should all be attempting to make our men <laughs> clothing. Now what, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the poncha part. I've cut it up but it hasn't gone right to the edge and I'm not going to, I'm just going to tear into it basically. And then there's bits of um, the previous lining stuck to this so we're just going to take as much of it as possible away then placing this both right sides facing together i'm going to seam just below the interfacing Now I do have to be careful as I am slightly limited on the fabric so making sure that I sort of leave like an equal distance on both the sides and I'm going to uh, go on to do this to both the ponchas so just leave a, just a little bit of an excess and then tie in the fabric, excess fabric to the bottom of the puncher. So this is quite a simple modification. It doesn't, it's not going to take us very long and it doesn't require next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and uh, this generally just has either two or three seams we're going to do one seam fairly close to the bottom now there is a special foot that you can get which actually guides and will give you a very straightforward seam. Uh, I was earlier on showing this foot to one of my friends uh, and how it works. Uh, but you know what, it really isn't required. Perhaps in one of the later videos I will show you what this foot is like. Um, the other thing that you can get is I have a guide, but that seems to have disappeared. The second uh, scene that we're going to do is going to be a distance off the foot. So just the distance of the foot we're going Then 
the final seam is going to be almost like an invisible seam because we're going by guidance only and we sort of feel for the edge of now you can if you wanted do it on the wrong side but um, what we what our end result has to be is a good seaming on the top side it really doesn't matter what the underside is like so that basically is uh, the poncha and all we need to do now is just close off the silver just press this so that it sits evenly so we're gonna go on to turn the one First seam is close to the edge. the other bit of um, slight alteration we want to do is this is the top um, piece that we're going to be inserting the drawstring into men often tend to use um, a drawstring to hold the salwar rope as you're probably aware the care of a general fitting salwar is quite wide that's why they called buggy buggy pants. Okay, so what we're going to do is seam this to the crutch line. a little bit before the finishing we're going to do a cut and then we're going to turn this towards the inside and just do a little bit more of a seam just to get a neat finish so that cross cut Turn this over in like a 
triangle and stitch on the corners of this on both the sides. So open up a little bit more so it's easy to turn over. This is generally done on an unstitched salwar. This is generally done prior to turning the top waistband over for the drawstring. And it's a lot easier to do if it's done on the open. It just makes it just a little bit, if it's sketched, it makes it just a little bit diff difficult to, but it's not impossible. basically is the one side of um, the turning for the drawstring. Now we're going to do the same to the other. 